The massive terror investigation underway at this hour in the city of London. A deadly attack just outside the British Parliament. A man ramming a car into pedestrians before attacking a police officer with a knife. ABC's Alex Marquardt is on the scene. Alex. Good evening, Dan. There's still a heavy police presence out here tonight, but that lockdown that was in place for the entire afternoon and into the evening has now been lifted. Just a short time ago, we got new figures from the police. They say around 40 people were wounded in this afternoon's attack and five were killed, including a police officer and three civilians. The attack started at 2.40 p.m. as a car drove across Westminster Bridge, then swerved suddenly, careening into a crowd of pedestrians, at least one person falling into the River Thames below. The attacker then continued in the car, plowing into the entrance to Parliament, getting out with a knife, and at that point, fatally stabbing the police officer. Other police officers responding, shooting, and killing the attacker. Tonight, police say they believe they know the identity of the attacker. They say that he acted alone. He was likely inspired by Islamic extremist terrorism. And a short time ago, British Prime Minister Theresa May called this a sick and depraved terrorist attack, adding that Londoners will never give in to terror and that Parliament will be back in session right here again tomorrow. Dan. Alex, thank you. We will be covering this story all night on ABCnews.com and first thing in the morning on GMA.